The importance of first layer in 3D printing cannot be overstated. Successful first layer does not always mean successful print, but bad first layer often means failure. Accordingly, making the first layer stick is one of the biggest topics of the home 3D printing craft. It's simple, if your print detaches midway throughout the print, your nozzle will be printing into the air and you'll end up with a bunch of spaghetti instead of a Yoda head. There is a variable called Z-probe offset and it adjusts at what height the printer starts printing in reference to the Z-homing position. The proximity sensor, this is our Z-probe, stops the nozzle at its sensing distance from the print pad. This is our Z-homing position. Then the printer lowers the nozzle further according to the Z-probe offset amount and starts printing. Note that the Z-probe offset must always be negative and the more negative it is, the closer the nozzle gets to the print pad. The first layer tweaking procedure itself is quite simple. We will instruct the printer to print something, anything, and observe the first layer. If we deem the first layer not squished enough, we will increase the Z-probe offset to put the nozzle lower. Conversely, if we deem the first layer too squished, we will lower the Z-probe offset to put the nozzle higher. Let's try it together. A good precaution is to Make sure that your Z-probe offset is actually zero before you start this procedure. This way you will not drive your nozzle into the print surface. Now let's put in the SD card and print something, anything really. I'm gonna print a simple box. You can see the nozzle is just too high. We are printing into thin air. Let's be bold and increase the Z-probe offset right ahead by one millimeter to minus one and we'll see. Now we're going to print the same thing again so that we can observe the first layer with the changed Z-probe offset. You can see the nozzle is still too high. Let's increase the Z-probe offset by 0.5 millimeters to minus one and a half, and we'll see. Same drill as before, we're gonna print the same thing again. Etc. Etc. Repeat this process until you get the nozzle just where you want it, until the first layer is just right. Now what does it mean for the first layer to be just right? Here, I made a first layer squishiness reference for you. From left to right, you can see that as the Z-probe offset increases, layer squishiness also increases. And there's a range at which parallel lines on the first layer are blended together and everything is moderately squished without making the first layer too much larger than the subsequent layers. And that may be exactly what you need. But really, there's nothing like perfect first layer. It depends what you're looking for and what you're printing. For PLA, that sticks pretty well and that doesn't warp much, I may stay quite high and have the lines just touching each other on the first layer, especially if I need the first layer to be dimensionally accurate. However, if I'm printing a complicated model with a lot of warping or that is just huge and I'm printing overnight and I want to be really sure it sticks to the bed and I don't really mind that the first layer is gonna be slightly thicker or bigger than the other layers, then I may put the nozzle on purpose lower and squish the first layer more so it sticks better. While we're at this, here's a quick trick. Once your model stops sticking well to the blue tape, you can just replace the blue tape with fresh one or you can buff it lightly with medium grit sandpaper. The sandpaper does quite wonders for the holding power of the blue tape. And that's it. You have just ventured into the deep, deep waters of making your prints stick. The first layer height is only one of many, many variables that are in play here, but it's a major one. 
And remember, there is nothing like the perfect first layer. It depends what you're trying to do. So just observe your first layer and tweak it. In fact, the habit of observing your first layer to make sure that it sticks well is a reasonable habit. Once the first layer is laid down well, you're most of the time good to go. Good luck. Thank <laughs> you.